Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and today's video is going to be a little makeup video. I'm going to be doing a Valentine's Day look for you guys, and this video has to be filmed and edited by 4 o'clock today, and it is already 1 o'clock. Woo! Uh, I did not get up early like I was supposed to, and I actually filmed this yesterday, but messed it up and then lost pretty much all of the footage when I was trying to edit. So this is take two. Anyways, I... Hope y'all enjoy this video and subscribe to my channel, please. It really helps me out. Like if you like the video. Comment also. Comment anything you want. I like to read the comments. Tell me what your Valentine's Day plans are or what makeup look you like to do. Anything like that. Anyways, I'm just gonna jump right into the makeup because I need to get this done. So, let's just get into that. Okay, so first I'm going to start with my brows and I've got this CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in the shade Honey Brown. I'm just going to fill in my brows real quick. concealer it's a Koki professional be bright illuminating concealer I just got this in my ipsy bag and it's super cute and it was actually a good shade for me so I'm gonna test this out with my elf flat eyeliner brush in here where is it this right here I'm gonna use this to clean up my brows real quick I'm gonna get some on the brush. Take that same concealer and put this on my eyelids as a base for my eyeshadow. And then I'm just going to take my Real Techniques sponge right here and blend that out. And now I'm going to take my Airspun Loose Face Powder and use this to set that concealer on my eyes so that I can do some eyeshadow. Take on this little brush right here and use just an L on. Now, I don't really have any pink eyeshadow, so I'm going to be using this Tarte blush in the shade Quirky on this Farrah 35E brush. And I'm just going to get some on the brush and put this into my crease. like rusty brick reddish color with a Morphe B79 brush just to put a little bit more dimension in my crease just a little bit and I'm also going to put this on the outer corner of my eye <laughs> this little 
Luxie 245 small shader brush. It's just a little flat brush. I'm going to spritz it with my rose water mist. Like that. And then I'm going to take this Ofra highlighter in Rodea Drive. And I'm just going to pick up some of that. And I'm going to use this for my um, inner eyelid area. And I'm going to take it about halfway. gonna put a little bit of this onto my brow bone just like that and now I'm gonna go back in with that little Morphe brush with the red and I'm just gonna blend the edges of that real quick Now, for my eyeliner, I want to do a red wing. So I've got my red lipstick. It is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick in the shade Missy and Fierce. And I'm gonna take this, and I've got this angled eyeliner brush from e.l.f. right here that I'm just gonna use to do a wing eyeliner and I absolutely suck at doing wing eyeliner so I'm going to put some tape on so that I don't mess up the line. I'm horrible like about keeping my eyes still whenever there's things poking around it so I suck at doing eyeliner and mascara and lashes. I could never be a contact wearer. Thank god I have good vision otherwise I don't know what I would do. So I'm just getting a piece of tape. I'm just going to apply that on both sides. <coughs> what? No problem. Hopefully that's even. And then I'm just going to go in with my brush and my red lipstick here and I'm gonna create a little wing it also sucks because I have hooded eyes so Eyeliner and eyeshadow doesn't really always look right on me because you can't even really see it because my eyes are hooded. And now I'm just going to go do the same thing to the other side. Alright, that's as good as it's going to get. So that's the eyes done. Now it's time to move on to the face. So first I'm going to start with my foundation, which I mixed together Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer in the shade Light. And the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Glow 24 Hour Foundation in Creamy Natural because the Milani is a little too orange for me and the L'Oreal is a little too dark. So I gotta mix to find the right shade. Okay, so I'm just going to squirt a little bit of the Milani around my face. And now I'm going to come in and squirt a little bit of my L'Oreal one. Mm. 
And now I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and blend that out. I avoid the under eye area because I put concealer there and I don't like to um, pile up too much. going back in with my concealer and I'm gonna put some on my chin my cupid bow on the tip of my nose the bridge of my nose put some on my forehead up here just like that and then I'm gonna put some under my eyes. I'm gonna go back in with my booty, my booty, <laughs> my sponge, and blend that out. spun and set all that foundation and concealer with this beauty accents total face brush I'm just gonna dip in there pat the excess off and then I'm gonna focus it mainly under my eyes first so I don't get all creasy And then I'm just going to pat the rest into my face. And you want to avoid swiping because it could disturb the foundation and concealer underneath. So it's best to just pat it in. Now, I'm going to go in with my bronzer. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Ticket to Brazil. I'm going to use that same fluffy brush. I'm going to swirl it in there, knock the excess off, and I'm going to apply this to the hollows of my cheekbones. Just to bring some color back into my face. And without dipping back into the pan, I'm just going to take that down the sides of my nose and across the tip just to add a little bit more shape there and not too much. And now I'm just going to go around the edge of my forehead because I got a big old forehead. Now I don't contour. I usually only use bronzer. That's just my personal preference. Now that that's on, I am going to take this rose water mist and I'm going to spritz my face with it oh I hate spraying cold things on my face and I'm just gonna take the flat end of my sponge and pat that in just to make it look more natural and, and, and nice put together now I'm gonna go back in with my Ofra highlighter, this hair, take it on my face, and this BMX 265 glow brush from Moda Pro, it's just a highlighting brush, I'm going to get some of that, I'm going to put it on the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, Without getting any more, I'm just going to get my chin above my eyebrow, right here, and then I'm going to dip back in and get my cheekbone. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that hot light. 
Okay. Next, I'm going to take this Lash Alert Mascara. I got this in my Ipsy bag yesterday. I'm just going to try it out. And first, I'm going to apply that to my bottom lashes. Bad. It's very black. And now I'm just going to apply that to my top lashes. Get them prepped for falsies. There's that, and I'm gonna um, go apply my false lashes real quick, and I'll be right back. All right, now that I've got my lashes on, and these are Kiss lashes in the style Ritzy, I'm going to apply my lipstick, and I'm going to be using that same red lipstick from earlier, the Wet n Wild, and Missy and Fierce, and I'm just gonna apply this to my lips. And then we're going to go in with the last touches for the look. Alright, there's the lips. And this is a more wearable look. You could stop here if you wanted to, of course. But I'm not going to. We've got a little bit more to do. So next, I'm just gonna take this little heart, which I only have one now because I don't know where the other one is. And I'm just gonna stick this on my cheeks here, like a little stencil type thing. And I'm gonna go in with my blush, my Tarte blush and Quirky, with this e.l.f. brush. I'm gonna dip in there, and I'm just gonna pat this on. I'm just going to take it across my nose a little bit. Alright, I'm going to move it to the other cheek. And do the same thing. And now I'm just going to go in with this Wet n Wild highlighter in Precious Petals and go on top of that just to get a little bit of a shine. Just a little bit though, not a lot. You could also stop here if you wanted, but I've got one, one, one more little thing to do. I'm going back in with my red lipstick and my eyeliner brush, and I'm just going to draw some little hearts on my face. Now this is where I messed up last time, so hopefully I don't mess up this time. Alright, first I'm going to put a little one under my eyeliner. Do that to the other side. There's that. I'm 
gonna put one above my brow right here. like that and now I'm gonna put some across my nose my cute little heart freckles from someone I saw on TikTok who had some decorations like this but for the most part I came up with it or put my own spin on it anyways and I hope you liked this video if you did leave a like and a comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I would greatly appreciate that and here I'm just going to show you a little close up of this look Um, recreate this if you want to I'd love to see it um, make videos and tag me on on TikTok if you have TikTok or on Instagram tag me in them on Instagram and I'll try and look at them all just make sure to tag me my Instagram is xox underscore Sandra underscore xox and my TikTok is at mommy two like the number two London London is spelled L O N D Y N also Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next Wednesday.